So it is my task and honor to give you a description of our uh, project on mRNAs in the search for looking on a parameter who can predict fractures in the future and who can give us information about the, about the dynamics in bone metabolism. And this is the reason why we look for the right signature of mRNAs. Maybe they can give us this information uh, we need. And we do this project together. I will uh, show you at the end our mRNA network in Austria. So what is the background? There are so millions of people with osteoporosis. We have the standard diagnostic tools and we have the bone turnover markers but they do not give us enough information on the quality of bone and on the quantity of bone. And the bone turnover markers cannot predict and cannot reflect a future fracture risk. So we are looking for new biomarkers and there is a need for new biomarkers in the diagnosis of osteoporosis. And on this way we are looking on the potency of the microRNAs to fulfill those criteria. So what are microRNAs? MicroRNAs are non-coding RNAs, they are short, they have a short length, and they act as post-transcriptional regulators of gene expression. And they contribute significantly to the regulation of cell phenotypes. And uh, there is some promising result that they could serve as new biomarkers in different bone diseases and we are going to show you the different projects we have set up to answer these questions. So this was one of the first uh, studies we did on microRNAs and different subgroups of patients with fragility fractures and there were subgroups of premenopausal patients, postmenopausal patients and males all having suffered from fragility fractures and when we looked for the more or less 190 different microRNAs, we could find 19 who were able to give a really very good capacity of discrimination between fracture and no fracture in those three patient groups. And there are different microRNAs with very funny numbers, uh, they can almost perfect in the ROC analysis distinguish between fracture and no fracture patients. So this was uh, the first study, we did a clinical study just to look on the blood levels of different microRNAs blood levels of more than 100 microRNAs. Uh, and in the, the next step now, we looked for tissue expression of microRNA in addition. Not only blood levels, but also tissue ex expression of microRNAs in, in bone uh, biopsies, in trans biopsies, and we correlated uh, 
microRNAs with microstructure parameters uh, derived by microCT and also uh, nanoCT and histone morphometry parameters. And uh, in this uh, Spearman test, you can see that there is a good correlation of different distinguished microRNAs uh, with a very good correlation to different microstructure parameters. So maybe among those 190 microRNAs, there is a sequence of microRNAs, a signature of the microRNAs who could give us precise information on the architecture in, in the bone. This is an ongoing uh, animal study looking on the microRNA expression in femoral heads of uh, animals divided into an ovarectomy group and a sham ovarectomy group and then different therapy regimens. This work is not finished so far but we were looking on different uh, microRNAs and you can see there's number one there's a good correlation between uh, the serum levels of distinguished microRNAs and the tissue level of distinguished microRNAs and you can see uh, there is good correlation in the anabolic treatment over time of different microRNAs so there's a lot of speculations and we are at the moment uh, trying to find uh, a working hypothesis and about the expected changes in microRNAs uh, under different treatment regimens. This is a, a project where we measure microRNAs levels under the nosonab medication comparison to teriparatid, so anti-resorptive versus anabolic treatment. Uh, we measure in, in blood over a certain time and we try to identify the, uh, the typical microRNA pattern in the signature we already defined under two different uh, therapy regimens and we will correlate those uh, levels to, to uh, bone mineral density and uh, the, bone, the standard bone to lower markers we know. Uh, the next project is that we look on hypophosphatation. You will hear more about hypophosphatation, a project we run together with Bratislava in, in Vienna because we know it is very heterogeneous. I will show it to you. And HPP can affect different systems in the uh, organ systems in the human body. And also here we try to identify organ specific microRNAs to predict HPP and the, the organic systems be affected uh, by this disease. And maybe we can find a, a tool of early diagnosis of HPP. We will also uh, look on psoriatic arthritis to look, maybe microRNAs can give us an idea. Psoriasis will affect the joint maybe in this patient, but we, or will only affect tendons or will only affect um, the, the, the skin in those uh, patients. So we try to identify uh, signatures of different MRIs with the different features of psoriasis. Again, to develop maybe novel strategies uh, for early diagnosis in the bone, in the joint, in the skin involvement. And maybe we can predict also uh, for bone erosions and in tissue fights in this disease. Other future projects is to test signatures in osteogenesis imperfecta in collagen related disorders. Also in sarcopenia, this, I see here a potential uh, project between our societies maybe, because you are very experienced on sarcopenia already and uh, I see a, a good potency that we could work together on this field. Yeah. Early fracture prediction is something uh, we want to get and 
uh, tools for diagnosis of other rare bone diseases. Uh, our resources are our clinical departments in Austria, uh, our human resources are senior and junior scientists and study nurses. We have uh, the whole spectrum of technology and we have a good, a good uh, network, a national and international partner uh, an essay for developing most of the microRNAs has been developed also in Austria. It's, it's uh, called Tamirna, uh, this company who has developed a very good uh, uh, assay. So this is our symbiosis, this is our Austrian network and uh, uh, Roland unfortunately could not uh, join us, um, but Judith is here and uh, the mastermind is Professor Edel in Austria who is uh, the boss of uh, the Boltzmann Institution for Tissue Research and uh, you have already heard uh, from Professor Bichmann and those two guys, they have developed the essay for microRNA. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. Please, questions. No problem. Uh, well, great talk, Professor Roche. Uh, some years ago, uh, in our institute, we also performed some uh, epigenetic study and studies the correlation between epigenetic and the osteoporosis in our patients. Yeah, and uh, we receive a good correlation in uh, whole groups in uh, large population, but we have failed in, uh, in the assessment on individual risk of osteoporosis, unfortunately. Yes, uh, what do you think, how can we um, improve our uh, approach, maybe in combination with different methods, or maybe some specific uh, microRNA thinking? The, the secret of improvement is we should work together, <laughs> number one. Of course. <laughs> Out there. And I mean, we are on a good way, because uh, we, we think we have found a signature so we can identify some of the 190s microRNA which could help us very specific to discriminate small groups. And the other thing is there's a good correlation between blood and tissue expression. So this gives us also hope that we are working with a very uh, powerful parameter. So Professor Gregorio, we have to work together on this question. After collaboration, you date. <laughs> yes. <coughs> okay, thank you very much. So, now it's. What is it? It's me. Yes.